I am guessing. When person said that word or those words to me, I always stop them and start to dig deeper. It's important to understand that under this word, there are two possibilities. Number one, people have bloating and passing gas and people could be burping. So it's important to differentiate those two terms. Today, I am going to talk about burping or belching only because burping and passing gas are different terms and they have a different cause. And if you do not identify the cause, then the treatment is not going to be correct and you're not going to be successful and only get upset about that. So let's talk about burping. So before I go there, a couple of words about gas mist. The cause of the gas mist, it means that the problem is most likely in the small or large intestine. The causes is dysbiosis, deficiency of digestive enzymes in the small intestine, deficiency of pancreatic enzymes, colitis such as celiac disease, inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's ulcerative colitis, IBS, functional liver deficiency or liver disease. And gasness will be treated according to the cause. So if that's here, that's the way of treatment. Now, we are talking about burping. The most likely problem is in the stomach. The causes of burping are here. Swallowing air, low production of hydrochloric acid, gastritis, pregnancy, and obia belly. I put those two terms together because pathophysiological mechanism of burping in those cases is the same, meaning the foreign body, it's a fetus or a fatty belly is pressing against the stomach and pushing it up as a result burping is coming. And the treatment will be according to the cause. Let's talk about that. So cause number one, swallowing air, meaning that usually person eating too fast or drinking carbonated drinks with the meal or right before the meal. So what's the treatment? Obviously, it slows to deliberately eliminate carbonated drinks. Number two, low production of hydrochloric acid. Before you go, if you decide that you have that, before you go and treat that, I strongly recommend you to do a baking soda test. And by the way, I will put in my in the description uh, my videos on that topic, how to do baking soda test and, and the meaning. Yes, I know people will, will be saying, oh, baking soda test, it's just, it's not professional. And it's true. We don't need precisely identify how much hydrochloric acid you are missing. Baking soda test is only for us to tell, do you have low or do you have a normal production of hydrochloric acid? That's it that we want to know from baking soda test. And if you do have a low production of HCL, then take supplements or do something to increase production of hydrochloric acid. Some people take um, water with lemon, some do uh, diluted vinegar. My mom takes uh, right during the meal a tablespoon of uh, red wine. So it's your choice. Number three, pregnancy of beer belly. So obviously foreign body is pressing, the gas is going up. And also it's important to understand during that period of time, especially during the pregnancy and uh, when the be belly is too big, with the burp, a little bit food and hydrochloric acid come into, it into esophagus and person will complain that when I am burping, I have acid reflux. So the answer, the treatment for that, well, pregnancy will go away in, in nine months but uh, weight loss is uh, recommended. Number four, gastritis. Keep in mind, there are different reasons for gastritis. There is a stress gastritis, there is a chemical gastritis. It could be uh, herbicides, pesticides, um, uh, could be sugar substitute, uh, could be gastritis due to food sensitivity. For example, dairy, uh, wheat, um, um, could be decreased production of mucus. So the treatment will need to be according to the cause. Eliminate offensive foods. It could be spicy food, right? Spicy food have to go. Then you can take L-glutamine, aloe vera, and slippery L. That's it for this presentation. So uh, all information below, like, subscribe. The rest of the video for people who wants to understand actually what's going on when I am burping. And for that, we are going to blackboard for the explanation. Well, let's go.
As always, I already pre my favorite picture of the digestive tract. This is the mouth with the teeth, esophagus, loisophageal sphincter, stomach that will produce hydrochloric acid, HCL, uh, pylorus at the end of the stomach. This is the small intestine. This is the large intestine. And we go to the bathroom right here. Before we really proceed with the four possible causes of burping, I want to bring your attention to the fact the, to the structure of pillarus. Unlike loisophageal sphincter, that basically is a circular muscle that opens and closes or gets wider and closes again. Pillarus, yes, it has the circular muscle. Let me just draw it uh, here. Let's suppose this is the stomach, okay? And this is the uh, pillarus, circular muscle. And this is the small intestine up here. Okay, I will uh, mark it as stomach, and this is the small intestine. Okay, it's a circular, mus a circular muscle, but it has also muscles that come, straight muscles that come from the stomach and attach here, come straight muscles, come through the stomach and attach here, and straight muscles here. They're also same similar straight muscles come from the small intestine and attached right here and attached right here. If you will look into the small intestine, into that valve from the small intestine, it looks almost like a dome, okay? There's the stomach being here and the small intestine is here. So basically, when um, it looks like that, okay? And this is the small intestine goes goes here. Uh, because of those muscles, and they are holding it in this form. The more gas you keep forming here in the small intestine for different reasons, the more gas will get accumulate here, and it's basically will stretch the sphincter, and it will stretch those muscles. And the more you stretch them, the tighter the sphincter become here. So it's very unlikely. It's very unlikely that gas from here, from small intestine, can come here into the uh, stomach and then will come here. Yes, there are situations when there is a bile reflux and food will come here and then create gastritis and then gas comes here. But it is, you know, it's more complicated, right? So let's go to and talk about four possible causes. Number one, you uh, uh, there is a lot of air because you eat too fast. So you, you don't chew food well. Big, big, big pieces come here into the stomach together with the air or person drinks carbonated water so the food stays here and the gas get formed and as i said loisophageal sphincter is a muscle uh, yes it's can hold some liquid below like if it's uh it's like if it's like that below but you try to hold the, the uh you try to hold the air here no it's impossible so as a result when there is a lot of air here and it gets it's stretching basically a loisophageal stomach and loisophageal sphincter. So the stomach is stretching right here. Big pieces come here. And loisophageal sphincter also gets stretched beyond the abilities to, to hold the air here. And gas will come here. Uh, number two, decreased production of hydrochloric acid. From previous lecture, you may remember that pH here in the stomach because of the production of hydrochloric acid is very acidic. It's pH of two. Here in the small intestine, pH is totally different. Uh, pH in the small intestine is seven, neutral. And when person has a low production of hydrochloric acid, the concentration gradient between he, stomach and small intestine is, does not exist. As a result, uh, pillars gets open and closed on concentration gradient. As a result, pillars remains closed. As a result, food stays here for a long period of time. The process of fermentation starts here. Gas gets formed and person is burping. Okay. Um, now, pregnancy and beer belly. The, uh, the idea is the foreign body is basically pressing, exhibit the pressure from uh, outside on the, on the stomach. And the stomach becomes smaller. There is not enough uh, space to, to hold the meal. Uh, it could be fetus, it could be uh, a fatty belly. As a result, everything goes up, okay? A person is burping and quite often, hydrochloric acid with a little bit of food comes here. As a result, person complaining, when I am uh, burping, I also have a acid uh, reflux, uh, esophageal burning. 
gastritis. Gastritis, by definition, is uh, inflammation in the stomach. There are numerous causes of inflammation. And once when the inflammation is set, so a person may, get, may have a decreased production of hydrochloric acid. Inflammation just affects uh, the body of the stomach and uh, low esophageal sphincter becomes dysfunctional. You know, person is burping. I think um, that's it for this presentation. I hope I made it clear. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye for now. All relevant information in the description below. It's Veronica Lux. Stay healthy.